This is just a quick video to show you how to straighten out your thumb in pinky loops. I've done this for a while, but I figured I'd make a video on it. Some of you don't like to keep these tied. I know I don't. So let me show you how to straighten them out. And this also works on new and old gloves. What you want to do is take a glass of warm water, fill it up pretty tall. It doesn't have to overflow. You want to just dip those guys in there. We'll do the third one too. Kind of steer clear of the lace that you don't want in there. Get that as close to the leather as possible. Don't worry if you get a little on the glove itself. It'll be fine. You want to get it as close as possible. I didn't get it all the way on that one. There we go. That looks good. Kind of dip it in there a few times and pull on it, straighten it out. May need to leave it in there for a little longer. All right. I'm also going to do this on an old glove, this H1 I got recently. All right, I'm finishing up on the pinky side of the H1. Forgot to mention the temperature of the water I like to use is just hot tap water. Don't boil it or anything. I'll pull them in there. You want to get them nice and saturated to where they start to straighten out on their own. Let's kind of help them out. Might take a few dunks. There you go. I think that'll do for this one. Now, I'm going to leave these to set out to dry. Keep in mind, whatever position you leave these in, it's going to kind of act like hair. So it's going to want to take the shape of whatever position it dries in. So just keep that in mind. Or she'll be doing it all over again if you don't like how, the way it's hanging. I like the boat came out. Got a little water on there, but Kubotas are no stranger to water. That should come out nice. See, it's already straightened out already. Let's lay these out to dry. Just a quick peek. This is how I have the Kubota drying. Kind of have those tucked a little bit. And those hanging off. Just kind of dangling there. All right, this has been drying for four, maybe five hours. I kind of changed my mind midway through. Kind of tuck these and pull it up. That's what I was talking about earlier has memory like your hair. Once these get done drying fully, they might not be done 100%, but you want to condition these after they've dried completely because water will dry out leather. So if any time your glove gets wet, you definitely want to condition afterwards. And if you don't like how it turns out, you can always just dip it back in the water and try again. This is a new glove. I can show you what a used glove turned out. Not too bad. I can just let that one hang out. Show you the difference. This one didn't get completely straight. I probably didn't saturate it enough. So it's got a little bit. I can always redo that. It's definitely a lot stretcher than it was. Anyway, that's all there is to it. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.